Welcome back, welcome back. Since the last video, everything should be finished up, buttoned up. I did a quick look of the important fluids under there. Uh, we should be good. Um, I do not have a tripod and I definitely do not want to go find it. So I'm gonna position you guys up probably right here on its side and shoot you under the car. I am very excited for this. This car I have had a very long time and it just has never run right. We had an arcing on the firewall from the distributor, uh, carburetor issue, fuel injection issue, brake issue, steering issue. I mean, you name it, this car, I thought I got a pretty good deal back in the day. And you know, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Um, so far, the motor has been decent. Uh, doesn't make tons of power, unfortunately, but I mean, it's, it's not a 396 or anything like that. It's just a 350. Uh, tranny, you know, leaves a little to be desired, but with the rear gear, it will do 75 down the highway. Uh, there's a video of me and Bobby doing that after we did the brakes. Um, overall, it's been a pretty good car. It needs a few things still. We don't have heat. I'd really like to have heat so I could uh, heat the cab up, and, and then we go along from there. Uh, we got we had tail light issues. I mean, you name it. This car, we I've touched almost every spot of this car. Um, yeah, it's just, it's it's time for it to go out and be one of those cars that, kind of like the Dodge here, although it's not fully reliable right now too, we got a, I think we got a bad starter relay, but anyways, back to this car at hand, we've got to get this vehicle to the point where if I want to come out and go for a freaking cruise in it, I can come out and turn the key. If I want to fix it, I can tear it apart and fix it. If I want to go ride, I can go ride. That's really where this car needs to be, and it hasn't been for at least eight years. I know I've had it at least eight years, if not going on nine. It's been a long time. So I'm very excited to, uh, to start this. I really hope it starts, but I'm gonna take you along uh, and I'll, I'll do a quick check for fuel leaks and then we'll let her kind of warm up a little bit. I'm excited, let me get you set up. All right guys, here we go. Let's see if it'll fire. Everything is up and I'll be looking for uh, fuel leaks. Hopefully that angle works. I don't have my tripod on me. This has got battery. That's not bad, that's sounding I guess I really wanted it to be wow this has been sitting here so long look at the spider webs <laughs> that pump's not crazy loud I had one on a 68 Mustang that was really really loud Let's see if I can just zoom in there Well guys, I'm freaking excited. Now we gotta give it a bath, cause look at this. All the crap that's died and fallen in there. I do have one wire I ran in here. That's gotta go uh, for the lovely fuel gauge that's not working. Um, always something, always something. And you know what's funny? I put these new lights in and I've never even taken the stupid car out. 
They are bright. So we'll upgrade these to LED probably. I see no leaking at all. This is a, I would call this a success guys. This is amazing. Now we just need to clear off the walkway here and uh, check brake fluid. Me and Bobby just did all that uh, as far as the brakes. I think we might be leaking a little in the rear. Check the trans fluid. Oil was good. Coolant was low, but that's been topped off. Batteries charged and getting proper volts. In fact, let's take a peek at it. I love being able to stop the car up just to, I mean, you can see it's up to here on me. I love that. That's freaking amazing. So we're uh, not super warm yet. Putting out 14 volts and we got about 50 PSI. Plus you got all this junk up here that's 96 degree, cool and temp, air fuel ratio 13.2. She's keeping a nice happy 750 RPM. We'll, we'll play with that and adjust it as needed. You got a lot of good information here on this. Oh, we might be even up higher now with the lights off. Yeah, we're definitely healthy. Uh, this back seat needs to be put back in. Um, I was, I had it apart because someone ran the speaker wires through this coils in the seat down here. That's before my time. And I want to remedy that, but I have not yet. So maybe the back seat won't be ready. But they, we did find that there were brown seat belts back there. Whether they were original or swapped out, we'll figure that out. And then I need to put some seat belts in up here. You can see the bolts there. Maybe the seat's got to be pulled out for that. I don't know. But everything seems pretty happy. No fuel dripping down there. At least nothing new. I don't see a lot of garbage falling there either. So I think we're in a good spot here. This thing needs a vacuum, a bath, and then to hit the road. But with that, man, we made it. Next step, hopefully we'll be out on the road. So if you can, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. We're gonna get this car out on the road. We're gonna get rid of this embarrassment here. Come on, Zoom, look at all that. Just jump from, look at the top of this car. It's just all dirty. Yeah, she's a little dirty. That's too bad, man. The interior's not bad. We got the new dash pad and everything. There's so many videos on this. If you like it, check the playlist out. You'll even get treated to an IROC Z video or two. Uh, freaking awesome. I don't see anything crazy going on here um, other than this, but I think we'll undo a couple screws and get that dash dropped. I just need it to fall forward so I can try and wire that up, see if it works. But uh, with that, we are now at 125 degrees. That's amazing. That is amazing. I am freaking stoked to have this thing running. So with that, we will see you on the next one. Thanks again for watching. Again, this is a 68 Camaro SS 350. I think it's a turbo 350 trans. Uh, has been, does have the floor shift. It's an upgraded floor shift unit, uh, stock fan upgraded cool radiator which probably needs to be upgraded again uh, we got these american racing wheels i wish these were black or chrome full front frame out's been rebuilt you got tubular a arms upper and lower tubular control arms um wheel with disc brakes we got the drums rebuilt in the back i'd love to go full disc running just a standard rear end out the back uh, don't know the paint code uh, the tires everybody asks about these freaking tires um, I don't know the offset on these, but these are a 265, 35, 18. I think they're a really good fit. They got a little more width than the stocky crap wheels that were on it. And then up front, we are running a, where is it? I don't like these tires, but for as much as this car drives, that's what it is. Where is the freaking size on these bad boys? Uh, 235 4018s. So there's your sizes. I do not know the offset. If you want, message me and I'll try and find it. Uh, really fun car. Lots more to do to it. So with that, we'll see you on the next one. Appreciate you watching.